poppin' and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Sunday evening, I've been doing random stuff all day, like I was at Castle doing drone shoots. But this video is about building a WordPress website for the app that we're gonna have. We're gonna have to add some like privacy policies, some terms of use, etc. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that going. Maybe I'll copy it from someone, maybe I'll write it, maybe we'll get AI to write it, we shall see. But first of all, we're gonna build a WordPress website, so let me ho let's hop over to the computer and get started. Okay, so this is my GoDaddy account. Quite a weird name for a website service, but you know, everyone to their own. Uh, so this is what we have. We have first the domain, arbster.io. We bought this quite a long time ago, I'm not sure really why. I just thought... Uh, Maybe someone steals it in the meantime, I thought it was quite good. And then I just bought this uh, managed WordPress today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up and we're gonna connect it to the domain and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build a website. I think we're gonna go with something quite simple to begin with. We only really need, you know, like an info page as well as some uh, terms and conditions. So should be quite uh, easy. Uh, and we're gonna start building a brand new one. I have used WordPress before plenty of times. Doesn't mean that I'm any good though, but you know, we'll try try our best. What are we gonna do? We're gonna provide information. We're not gonna be selling anything. Uh, North, I think Europe. I think most of our visitors are gonna be in Europe, so we're gonna go go with that. Okay, now we're setting up the site. Uh, maybe we'll flash forward a little bit so you don't really have to see it. But I think one good, uh, one good thing to use uh, for WordPress if you're trying to do this yourself, especially if you want to build something relatively quick, is to use one of these Astra Starter templates. Uh, this is the plugin itself, and I think they have quite a lot of different things you can uh, actually add. Let's see if we can uh, yeah, here we can find some of the templates and I have some good ones for apps actually and I don't really think we're gonna be paying for it So we're gonna be using one of the free ones. I think they have a pretty good free one for uh, For app. Let's see if we can find that one here tech startup. This is pretty good live preview I think we can use this one. Yeah, and then we'll just have to replace the colors a little bit, you know So yeah, I think this is what we're gonna go with so here we are our WordPress site is generated right now We're just using this domain for now but what we're gonna do, do is we're gonna head over to plugins and we're gonna go to add new. And for add new, we're then gonna search for Elementor. Elementor is probably the best best builder for WordPress. I know there are some other ones such as uh, Gutenberg, for example, but Elementor for sure is the easiest to use in my opinion and it integrates with the most things. Elementor website builder, we're gonna install that. We are also gonna be installing a uh, called Astra starter sites. Start a templates, there we go. Perfect, and with these two we can pretty much build a lot of a website, so I'm going to show you quickly what it is that I mean. So we're going to activate both of those plugins, uh, Elementor as well as the, uh, have an account already because you know I've done this before, this is my first rodeo. Wait, so okay, perfect, here we are, Good. now we are in WordPress and we can head over to plugins again and for this uh, starter templates we're going to press C library and we're going to build our website now, we're using Elementor and I think we just found it, I think it was called Tech Startup, right? Perfect, this one. Then we're gonna upload a file. I think we are just uploaded it, right? So we should be able to pick our logo from the media library. I'm gonna pick the icon, like so. Okay, I guess there we could actually pick this one. I think we can pick the white one even. I'm gonna pick that one. We're gonna increase the size a little bit. Like that. Perfect. Continue. We're just gonna build quite a simple site here first. Great. Continue. Expert. We'll call ourselves the export. No, no newsletters. Boom. Then what it's gonna do is they're gonna install a couple of plugins that this particular site uses. For example, sometimes they have email forms, etc. So it makes it super easy and super quick. Like now we've done this in what, like a couple of minutes. And after that, we're gonna be able to customize the, the site. And it shouldn't take too long actually. So we're gonna uh, have two missions. First of all, customize the site. After that, we're gonna be uh, writing the legalese and the privacy policy, etc. So let's see if we can get this going first because it's already 8 o'clock, so we don't have too much time tonight. But we're gonna try to finish it as much as we can. Perfect, view your site, and here we go. Now, my site will actually be live like this, so pretty damn sick. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna edit with Elementor, and we're gonna be able to customize all of this stuff. I think if I go to my Miro board, I have all of the colors, etc. that I'm gonna be uh, using. So I think we use this one. There we go, perfect, Arbster. There was, these were some of the features that we set up. Here are the colors, pretty good. So that's what we're gonna be going for in the site. I'm gonna pop these over on the other screen. You can't really see it on 
uh, the screen here, but just know that I have it to the right of me. Perfect. Okay, here we are with Elementor. This is like a kind of drag and drop thing. As you can see, I can take this text, I can edit it, for example. So we're gonna be doing all of that. First of all, then we're gonna go and we're gonna open a chat GPT window because this is always so useful for adding this kind of stuff, like for example, taglines, website content, etc. It's gonna make it quite quick. Uh, I don't really need to give it more instruction than that. We're just gonna ask it for some taglines for this particular app that we're gonna be putting on uh, the front page. But then here, for example, we can see that we have a background. I think we're gonna be changing this to maybe an arborist. So we're gonna head over to pexels.com. See if we can find any arborist pictures. I know they're not super common, but maybe we should be able to find a couple. Nope, not really. Let's try Pixabay. I know Canva has a couple. We're gonna go to photos and we're gonna search for arborist. That will have to do. Download. Adding like some kind of overlay. Like this. Hmm, this one's currently blue. I think we want to make it green, right? So we're gonna go to Canva again and we're gonna delete this image. And we're gonna add a uh, overlay. See if they have something like that. This potentially. Let's see what the other one looks like. So I had covered pretty much the entire screen except for a little, little, little bit at the bottom. Guess that could work. Let's try that and let's make it our color, which should be. I think we have that in Canva already, actually. Perfect. We're gonna pick that. Nice. That should do it. Yeah, that looks better, I think. Perfect. I like that. Great. And then we're going to be replacing these images with the, the Arbster ones. Perfect. Okay. Let's see if ChatGPT came up with a uh, couple of good taglines. This is quite a good tagline, this one. I just like this one though. Plan smarter. Plan... That's quite good. That's quite a good tagline. Plan smarter. Then we're going to see what the bottom one was. That was like revolutionize. Uh, arborist plan. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. Here. Yeah, that's good. That's risk. That's a good one. Start for free. Here we can just play it, press call it download instead. Then we're gonna be adding a link later on. Then more can remain. This will be pretty good later on when we have a couple of customers that we have, but or when we're featured in places. But for now, we're gonna need to delete that one because we're not featured anywhere yet. Uh, okay, great. Then we're gonna continue down here. I think now I'm gonna put it on the speed loop and just get to this. So I'll catch you on the flip side. You'll be able to watch the the speed. I call it speed cold usually, but you'll be able to watch the speed run on this. Let's go. Okay, so we have built pretty much the website now. It took exactly an hour and a half. I have done this quite a couple of times before, so I am no amateur with WordPress. Actually, this is kind of the first business or proper business that I started. This is the first like incorporated company that I made to build WordPress websites for people. So I kind of know what I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm a little bit rusty. But we got this quite a nice looking website right now. So this is the landing page you end up on. Like you get a nice screenshot, you get some nice colors, etc. Then we have these with a nice animation, just some screenshots of the actual phones of some of the pages of the app, pretty nice. Then some features and then just a uh, general overview. We also have an about this page that's kind of have the same stuff. It's just, you know, some screenshots, a little bit of like an SEO friendly text here that I asked AI to write, life hack by the way. 
And then we're going to be adding the privacy policy and the terms of use, which are both empty right now. But you need these just when you have an app. And also, one, just to be clear, instead of legal trouble, and two, App Store and Google Play actually requires you to have this kind of stuff. So this is what it looks like now. I think it looks pretty good if you look on tablet. Okay on mobile. I have a couple of uh, adjustments to make on mobile, but for now it looks uh, it's looking pretty damn good. Tablet, for example, same kind of design. Mobile, a little bit le less, you know, aesthetic, but still pretty good, I think. Mobile websites are quite difficult to build in general, but I'm quite happy with how this turned out. So, what we have to do now then is to add content on the privacy poly page and the terms of use page. So, I'm going to show you a massive life hack for writing these kinds of documents. You just go to AI and say, let's play a game. Let's be adventurous. You are an expert lawyer and I am an app developer, which I am. And I'm the developer of the app above, which is a reference to the past query that I made. Could you write a terms of use slash uh, use to put in this app? The governing company should be Nordic Social Media AB with VAT number, my VAT number, registered on my address, uh, and Swedish law should be governed. Ask any questions which may be very relevant to write an accurate text. Then we'll just tell it this. It will ask us a couple of questions, presumably, uh, in order to write as much of an accurate text as possible. And then after that, we're just going to copy this text and put it in the, uh, in the privacy policy and the terms of use page. And then it's going to help us draft. And there we have it. That's a couple of questions, quite some specific questions, and I just tried to give an answer to all of them. Does the app collect any personal information from data or users, you know, that kind of stuff? How does the app handle dispute between users or between the company? Uh, does the company reserve right to modify or discontinue the app or its features at any time? Yes, that kind of stuff. So it will just uh, ask a couple of questions that we're going to answer all of those questions and hopefully it should give us a pretty accurate terms of use uh, contract. So now let's just wait for it to generate the response and see what it looks like. I guess you can read it kind of as it goes. Damn, it's quite, uh, quite specific and I guess it just writes out the... Uh, some of the questions, some of the answers that I gave to some of these questions. These uh, terms of use are actually not that uh, simple. I guess the privacy policy typically is a little bit more complicated. So we'll see how it handles that uh, afterwards. Perfect. Quite a resolute uh, ending there. By using the Arpster IO app, you agree to these terms. If you do not agree to these terms, do not use the app. Okay, you know, that's how it is. Perfect. Then we're gonna go over to this and we're gonna go to terms of use and we're gonna head over here and we're just gonna paste it like so perfect uh, you can go and read it if you want to I'm not gonna read it out but I'm also gonna add this and and then we're gonna press update okay perfect then we have a terms of use page done then we're gonna make the same thing for the privacy policy so we're gonna ask you can you do the same thing as above but can you make a privacy policy page instead for App Store and Google Play Store use let's ask if it can do that let's see shouldn't be any problem oh wow didn't even need to ask any questions I guess I can just do it based on uh, based on the earlier okay privacy policy we're gonna head over here we're gonna do the exact same thing like so update perfect okay there we go uh, both a privacy policy and a terms and conditions page done and that's all been added to our lovely WordPress site. That is gonna be it for today's video. We made quite a lot of progress. We built the whole website. It's become so quick to build these WordPress websites now these days that I've done it quite a few times. I guess that's how practice works. That's what they say, right? Also, we, we used AI in order to build a privacy policy page and a terms of use page. Maybe I'll have to make this a little bit more detailed in the future since they weren't super detailed right now. But I think for the first couple of weeks, months, we're definitely good to go. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, if you wanna see how this turns out, if you wanna follow the launch, if you wanna see whatever I do leading up to the release of this app, and following the release like the marketing all that kind of stuff then feel free to subscribe down below it's completely free of charge can you believe it what a bargain uh, leave a like down below and i'll see you in the next one peace